are first of all, because we have something that's got a squared power, I'm expecting to find at most two zeros or two factors. So I'm looking at two expressions like this. And in general, they're gonna have the form something times x plus something equals something times x plus something else. And together, those factors multiply together and get me zero. The idea is if I can find these two factors, I can set this equal to zero and I get one solution. And I can set the second factor equal to zero to get another solution. So how do I figure out what these factors are? So let's start with the case where we're looking at something like what we have here, where it's x plus some number times x plus another number equals zero. So let's say for instance that we actually knew that these two numbers were like m and n. What would it look like to remultiply this expression out to see what it looks like in standard form? Well, if we use our grid to do this, we're going to have x plus m and x plus n. And we multiply terms that line up. So row, by, row times column, x times x is x squared, x times n is nx, m times x we'll call mx, and m times n is that last one. So then if I write it out, if I write out these four terms added together, I get x squared plus mx plus nx. That's these two. Plus mn. Structurally, if I compare that to what a quadratic usually looks like, it's just that these two terms get joined together into one. So if you think about taking a quadratic like the one we had in our example, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0, and you can figure out how to split this term into two pieces, this middle term, then you can really quickly see what the original factors were. So how do I figure out what that split is? Well, let's go back and look at what the constant term is. So the constant always equals the product, whereas the coefficient on x is the sum of m and m. So let's look at our example. In our example, the constant term is 8. So I list all the factor pairs of 8 the whole number or integer factor pairs of eight. So we can have one times eight, we can have two times four, um, we also can have negative one times negative eight, and we can have negative two times negative four. How do I decide which one of these factor pairs is gonna be the one that gives me, that gives me back eight in the right way? So which one of these is my m times n pair? Well, I just need it to satisfy that second condition. I need m plus n to be my coefficient on x. In my example, my coefficient on x is negative 6. If I look through all these pairings, this one, negative 2 times negative 4 equals 8, and negative 2 plus negative 4 equals negative 6. So I can go and rewrite negative 6x as minus 2x minus 4x and then drop in my plus 8 term and quickly see here that that gave me my two factors x minus 2 times x minus 4. And since I know that that product is zero, I know that either x minus two equals zero, in which case x is two, or x minus four equals zero, in which case x is four. 